summer's coming to an end and I know I have shown you my flowers over and over, but I've got to show you these. Y'all, this is one pot. I got some cookies in my hand, they're rattling. One pot right here. This, I, I've never seen anything like it. It's never, we've never had anything to grow that big, but we've had a lot of rain. We're having horrible temperatures up to 105 this week. This is the second pot. They've just all grown together now. The lantana, see this, the colias, and that's a sweet potato vine. Is that not gorgeous? The lantana, and then these little ones here have just sprouted up and they've run into the other pot back there. And it's just like a jungle in here. This, some of it started, you know, kind of turning over a little bit. But look at those wax begonias, how gorgeous. The asparagus fern, my fig tree has really grown back there. And yesterday, this thing had three blooms on it. You can see where they were. And then today, I come out here and they didn't have any blooms. But I'm gonna show you these. I forget, y'all could probably can tell me. I don't, this is like a waxy plant and the asparagus fern. And I believe this is a, maybe a bougainvillea or something like that. But anyway, these pots, look at the pot itself. John, these were marked down at Walmart yesterday, y'all, to $10, $10, the pot alone is worth ten dollars and he he set them out here and he caught ow i didn't realize that asparagus had stickies on it fuck a hanger um he called me out here and he said you've got to come see these i want you to look because i told him i said now we can keep those alive in the house this winter should be able to there's one fixing to come out and uh ten dollars so you might want to check your walmart and see if they've got great things we ordered us a rug for the porch i wanted one but he went downstairs and found this one and i said well that looks great for fall so um i'm not sure if i ever showed you my my lady head rose head whatever i'm gonna put a mum in her and I don't know, we've had this. Some of this is rusted so much now that it's kind of like snagging. I've wanted to leave it vintage, but I may get the chairs finished because this one's, I sit out here, but I don't sit out here in good clothes. So I'm ready, he got me a fall. I'm ready to get the decorations out. But I just want you to look how it's just been crazy. And our jasmine that died, I want you to look. He found one little piece of it coming back and look how it's grown so it's ready to go back up around it won't bloom but at least my plant that i've had for so long look at this it is amazing <laughs> we just come out here and kind of marvel at it sometimes how much it has grown but that's what you get well of course he pots them really good he uses good soil but that's what you get when god waters your flowers when God waters your flowers with the heavenly rain, you get better than using your water from the city with all the chemicals in it. Is that Koya not unreal? I've just marveled at it. And of course the Black Eyed Susans got so big that they just split apart. And, um, and so, but then we've got even some of the limelights growing down there and that. And then I keep saying I've got to cut off some of these and dry them, and I haven't done them yet. But they've just been beautiful this year, too. So John doesn't like that he has to tie them back. And I'm like, big deal. I still love them. If something's not perfect, John wants to cut it, get rid of it. I'm surprised he ain't got rid of me. But anyway, probably the last time I'll show them to you this summer, but they, they have just been amazing. 
I understand. I'm just getting it up to speed. I had the popcorn out of my teeth. What? That's the reason I hate popcorn. It well, gets you in your sure teeth. You sure do eat it a lot. You hate it? I hate the after effects of it. Uh. It's the husk. It's the husk. Hey guys! Same outfit, different day. Same outfit, different day. Oh, I don't know how same his is not. He got in the car with a terribly wrinkled t shirt. It felt so good. It's nearly 100 degrees. And yeah, but you throw it in the dryer. I it's, wanted it was one of his folded. I think it's a, it's a work shirt, isn't it? No, it's a gray shirt. It could be a work shirt. It's a John shirt. It's whatever I want it to be. Well, I don't fold your newer shirts. I hang them. And this one was folded. And he got to the car and I said, You look just like a ragamuffin. And I don't really know what a ragamuffin is, but I'm like, why didn't you throw that in the dryer? Because he was watching Gunsmoke or Wagon Train and waited to the last minute to get ready to go. We're going to Reed's Jamboree game. Jamboree! That's Jubilee. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. For all you old timers on Sunday morning, there used to be that gospel music show that would come on and say, Jubilee! Jubilee. Oh, close. We're invited to that special jubilee. Oh, me. Yes, we are. Um, it is currently 94, which is good. Well, that's in the shade. <laughs> Tomorrow, in the shade. for the next few days, is supposed to be up to 103, 104, 105. We got five days predicted to be 100 plus here. That's the temperature, not the heat index. And so with our humidity. In Tuscaloosa, Alabama actually hit 100 today already. Yeah. So they'll probably have six days straight. Yeah. I got, I just ate some light, the light popcorn for supper. I haven't eaten very much today. I've not wanted anything. And then I told him, I said, I won't be losing any weight. And then you had a starving attack. Not going to lose any weight, not eating any protein. That protein helps you. So we're going to read Jamboree. I may, Jamboree! <laughs> I may post just a tiny clip. I'm not going to bore y'all to death with all these football games because I know that you're not going to sit there and go, oh my God, he's so great, like we do. Um, but my goodness, he's growing up so fast. It's crazy. In the seventh grade, he will be 13 years old on September the 23rd. And we'll be out of state. He's right at a month. Yeah. We'll be out of state. We're going to Colorado for a wedding. Of course, we'll be taking y'all along with us to Colorado. And um, and so thankfully, Macy, his cousin, turns 13 in November. So they're gonna have a combined birthday party in October, a Halloween party, I think, together. So, but anyway, I wanted to touch base with you. Thank you for all the positive responses about the paparazzi jewelry. Uh, this is a pair of the earrings here. I had on a huge pair that had like a rhinestone in them and John said they were too big, which I didn't think they were. I thought they were fun. And he said you shouldn't have changed, it, but... They, about the size of those things, you put the hand towels in your bathroom, <laughs> you put the hand <laughs> towels in there, you make earrings out of them. They weren't happy. But since my hair was pulled back, I did decide I would downsize just a little bit. I didn't wear a necklace or anything because it's just too hot. Um, I ordered some new pieces today and I set up. Boy, I, I just sitting there thinking I'd give somebody an idea. They'll be uh -huh. making earrings. <laughs> they <laughs> will. Some towel loops. Oops. Um, so I'm doing some training Wednesday. And, and let me just tell you about this. Um, I've done a lot of um, video searching this weekend and watched some training videos and I'll, I'm just doing this for fun. This is not going to be, I'm, it's never going to be a big job for me because I'm just not going to put that kind of time retired. into it. I'm retired, yes. I just want to do it to make a little bit of extra money and I think it'd be fun. And, um, and so what I was going to tell you, if you do get the opportunity to come on my Facebook Live and and I will get to the point to where I know how to send out a text alert. I don't know how to do that yet. 
but all of that will grow. But I did set up a Facebook business page called Suzanne's Bling Boutique. If you want to look that up, uh, some of you that were on my Facebook, I've already sent you a, a notice. But Suzanne's Bling Boutique with my picture on there. And I will be posting pictures as I order stuff. And I will also allow people to do pre-claims, which means you can order it right off the Facebook page. And, um, but I'm, my inventory is going to be small to begin with. So I'm, you know, I'm ordering like 10 pieces and less just to start with, because I'm not going to put a ton of money into it till I see how it does. And, um, so, you know, it may be that I run out of a certain item and then if I see that the need is there and the desire is there, I, I will order more. But now some items, they make so many thousands of them. And then when they're sold out, they're sold out. But I just haven't seen, seeing some of the vintage pieces that people sell. And if they call them, they call them vintage. If they're older pieces that's been discontinued. And seeing some of the vintage pictures, I just like, I like all of it. I don't like the younger, like the, um, the other night, one of the girls that I watched, she had ordered some lime green lightning bolt earrings with a lime green, um, like a daisy type. I don't, I probably wouldn't order that. I may have an audience for that later, but I know a lot of you that watch, you're going to like more kind of the stuff I like. Is that Green Lantern that had the lightning bolt that was green and he throwed the lightning bolt? I don't know. I never watched the Green Lantern. Yeah, I think that's a superhero. Right? So, I mean, there's some cutesy stuff in there that I won't be ordering unless, you know, the need arises. But when they sell out, they sell out. So, um, um, I didn't get some things that I wanted Friday. Because they post new products Monday through Friday that you can order. And uh, so I'm starting slow. I'm starting very slow. I've got a couple of orders coming in tomorrow that I'm really excited about. Thank y'all for your interest. Some of you said I've never heard of it. I'd heard of it years ago, but it has improved drastically. I bought some about 10 years ago, and I just think the quality of it is so different and so much better. I'm comparing it to stuff that I buy at some of our boutiques that I pay $20, $30, and $40. I rarely pay $40 for a piece of custom jewelry, but I have paid like $25 and, and right at $30 for some of the long necklaces. And $5, you just can't beat that. And then if you don't like it and you don't want to watch it, you don't have to, because this is not going to turn into a paparazzi channel. But I do want to kind of keep you updated about it. So thank you for your interest. Thank you. A lot of you said, I'll be watching. You know, I want to see it. I love jewelry. Some of you said, I don't wear jewelry. I could care less. And so that's, you know. They wear may work in manufacturing. Huh? Those ones that don't wear jewelry may work in manufacturing. Well, they may just not like it because they don't like they it. They might not. They don't have I to work. I worked manufacturing years ago. Yeah, but you don't you wear jewelry. Wear jewelry. You won't even wear a wedding band. Well, what can I say? You can say, I should. I should, but I don't. And you have one. Do you know where it is? Well, but I actually do. Oh, okay. Something. You I ought can, to put it on sometimes. I can lay my hand, though. He don't wear a wedding band. It's a good thing I trust him. He doesn't, he, he's not even really started wearing his watch again. No. And he's got a brand new Apple watch. Yep. So, he just no, don't broke, like. I broke it and I worked for about four years and lived by it. Never had a watch before. And then when I, when I broke it, it was kind of like close to Christmas. And I'm like, I'm going to buy him one. They can get me one for Christmas. I'll give them a Christmas and gift. And they did and now he won't wear it. And well, I was going to wear it, but I had an iPhone 7, and it was not compatible. But now, you have... So, I upgraded my phone, what, about two months ago? Mm -hmm. So, up until about two months ago, I couldn't even... But it's kind of like half the stuff that they've given you through the years. We have a brand new mailbox that he was... Michael gave him maybe six years ago for Christmas with a beautiful stand. It. For what? The Rapture? The old one 
still up. So. And it's beat up. It looks horrible. Well, you got all he's got, that, he's also he's got right. surround sound um, speakers to go out on the porch. They're in the box. That would not be surround sound. That would just be a pair of outdoor speakers. Well, nice speakers. That it is. They're still in the box from about four years but ago. But you have to have something to hook it to. Well, you wire it in to what you've already got there. You know that. Oh, he's a procrastinator on some things, and I never mistaken, thought. If I'm not mistaken, you have to have some type of amplifier well, have you to checked? put those speakers in. Have you checked? No, I just feel like I'm pretty confident that's what He procrastinates on some of that stuff horribly. Horribly. So, anyway. Anyway. Just because you work in manufacturing doesn't mean that you don't wear jewelry. <laughs> Jesus help me. Manufacturing wear maybe. Oh, I don't think many of my viewers work in manufacturing. Just got just got a feeling they well, don't. Well if they have it, they should try it sometimes. No, why should they? Why well, should they? But anyway, we're, we're, it's we're, hot. A lot of real and, people cut their teeth in Hot, but we're going to this ball game. I, only think, I think it only lasts an hour, though. Yeah, I don't think it's a very long game. And so um, we're going, and um, I've got to pick the boys up tomorrow after school. I recorded. Let's see, this will be your first time to pick them up since they started. Yeah, I had three. Right? Well, I had surgery three weeks ago today. Oh, who's been getting them? You. Oh, okay. Why shouldn't you? Right. Right. Oh, they paid this road. Ooh. A lot of traffic going in. A lot of people going to the high school. Yeah. You know, we really have the right of way. You don't. But since you pulled in front of us, go ahead with your Escalade. Your bad self. I uh, recorded another lesson of Revelation. That's going great. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, let your light shine. It's linked below. And we're studying the whole book of Revelation. And I'm just getting fantastic comments. People are watching it with their grown adult children. Couples are watching it. Families are watching it. And I appreciate that so much. Not for me, but for the kingdom of God. I mean, that's, it's just, we got to know what's going to happen. We got to know, we got to be informed. I always want to be informed. Till the day I die, I want to be learning and I want to be informed. I have people that tell me they never watch the news. And I'm like, I don't like the news, but I've got to know a little bit of it that's going on just to know what's going on in this world. So, you started to sigh a while ago, so I knew you had something else to say. Oh, I can't even remember. I bet you I took my sunglasses into the house. I got shut down. So you did get shut down. Anyway, we're going to go see our big boy play, and we'll be back with y'all later. Later, later. Just wanted to give you an update on everything. Love y'all. We won! Our boy played a huge part of the game. You can look to your left, look to your right, look down by your feet if you see Trey. Good morning, Suzanne Light. <laughs> it's kind of a no makeup, brush your hair, throw on a t-shirt, go over to Mama Love Day morning. I um, haven't been over there in a couple days. I didn't make it this weekend. And I know she's ready for me to get back over there. The weekend was just crazy busy with football and church. And then we went to eat Sunday after church and it took us 45 minutes to get our food. And yeah, and so um, I was just wiped out afterwards. I'm still building my strength back. And uh, Sundays can be rough on me anyway, getting up early and, and getting dressed and everything. And, oh, I just posted a lesson this morning, the, I think the 10th lesson on the book of Revelation. Please go over there and subscribe, even if you're not going to watch it. There's a thousand of y'all watching my videos, and I need a thousand subscribers over there because... At a thousand, it's, it's, well, you can monetize. That's, of course, that would be nice, but that's not the big issue. 
The big issue is that they really start pushing it at a thousand. It's just, it's, you know, it's like a marker place. It's like a, it's like a, it becomes a different thing. And so even if you're not interested in Bible lessons, which you need to be, because time is short, I promise you that. Um, but anyway, irregardless, if you don't have time, you're not interested, or you're doing your own Bible study, whatever, please go over there and subscribe. I don't ask y'all that very much. I never ask a whole lot of you, but I need a thousand subscribers, and I think I'm at 512, and I just, I'll be real honest with you, I really thought my thousand that watches me all the time would just go over there and help me and subscribe. And a lot of you have, and a lot of you are watching. I mean, when I get 300, 400 views, that's not big to a big YouTuber, but that's big to me because that's like a church congregation. And I, I'm, you know, of course I want to see it bigger, of course, but um, it is what it is right now for the kingdom of God. And I'm, I'm pleased with that, but I'm just asking you a favor. <clears throat> that if all thousand of you that watch my daily vlogs would go over there and subscribe, it would help me tremendously, tremendously. So, enough of the commercial. I um, taken Jessica, her little, her birthday was in July, but uh, I got to thinking about what could I do for her special. And she drinks out of a Yeti all the time. So I bought her a new Stanley because I absolutely love mine. And she loves to fill up a drink before she goes to mother. <coughs> and look, she does so much for us. I'd buy her three Stanleys if she wanted them. So, because she is such a blessing. Never complains, never, you know, there's times she has to be off to do things, of course, there is. And, um, but she makes up for it. I'm telling you, she is so, and the thing is, is she's so good to mother and she loves mother. She sends me pictures of her all the time and she texts me and tells me funny things she said because mother's dementia is definitely getting worse. And, um, she would kill me for saying this, but I've told y'all over and over, she makes her own bed. She does her own washing. Well, just in the last few weeks, she has forgotten how to work the washing machine. And so she, I took her in there the other day and I said, well, come on and we'll wash that little load of clothes that's in there. And, and I showed her, I showed her, I said, this is exactly where you start. And this is where, well, she goes back constantly while it's running to see if it's over. And it just, it's one of those things that's bothering her. And she's washed them up till she's 96 years old. and. And she just, um, she can't wash them now. So, or is she 97? <laughs> 27, she's 96. <clears throat> I mean, she's getting so far up there, I can't remember. But, so Jessica has started washing and she, uh, we have a little hanging rack in one of her extra bedrooms where she has the clothes that she wears all the time. She's got closets, but she just likes to keep her stuff out on the hanging rack and Jessica went through there and rearranged it and put all of her um, washed some of the stuff that she had hung up that might looked a little you know like it needed washing and so I was afraid mother would be very resentful of Jessica and I washing but I think she's just like oh I don't have to worry about that washing machine anymore so day by day she's losing things and it's hard. <clears throat> like when I go and spend like two hours with her, we don't really carry on a normal conversation anymore. I just kind of talk about what she wants to talk about. And of course it's the same thing every day. And, but I'm the kind of person that I'm not gonna sit there and ignore her. I'm gonna be attentive. And some of it I will chime in. I'll say, yeah, so-and-so happened. But sometimes I just let her tell me the whole thing like I've not heard it, you know. And then many times she knows she's telling me something that we both know, but it's just like she's going over it. But, you know, it's sad. It's very hard to watch. She's always been such a strong woman. I, I told a story about, 
in my last teaching lesson or the one before that about some things that she had been through with the Jezebel spirit. And um, she's a strong woman, a very, very strong woman. And it's hard to watch her lose all of that, but it's a part of life. And when God is ready for her to go home, she'll go home. And until then, we're gonna take perfect care of her. She's not gonna go lacking. And anyway, I've got to get her, <clears throat> and I may just have to go buy what she needs. But I've always taken her to Belk and just let her sit down and take stuff to her and see if she likes it. But the last time I took her, it was, we didn't last very long. But then again, she likes to get out, so. But she's not lasting near as long at getting out, so. Y'all just pray that she can keep her, as much of her mind as possible and her mobility until the Lord calls her home. Because I know y'all love her. That's the thing. So many of you say, she's so much like my mother. She's so much like my grandmother. And, oh, I wish I had my mother back. And, you know, it's just every day that we have her, it is just such a privilege at her age. And I know one of these days, we're not. And that's gonna be very hard. And we've had a loss, a lot of loss in our family. And it's been very, very hard. And um, September is a hard month for me because I lost Daddy in September and I lost Sissy in September. And it's, it's a hard month to, but now my Reed was born 10 days after Sissy died and so he's my bright spot he's my number one man and uh so that makes it better and he will be 13 years old i can't believe it he's getting to look more and more like a man child so last night was their jamboree game and y'all they started it he was on the starting line for offense and defense and there's probably 70 boys out there because whoever wants to play football can play but it doesn't mean that they will get to play but they they suit up and they're out there but y'all he played the whole first half and so that's on his own accord so they definitely see something in him that's good so that's i'm excited about that well let's get in here and see miss jessica take her her um, Stanley, and uh, of course, I'll let you see my mom love just a little bit. It's Wednesday. What are y'all doing today? Look at me glamming out all this jewelry. Where are you going, Suzanne? I'm not going anywhere but uh, downstairs to do a little recording. Let's see who's sitting over here. Who's over there? What you doing? <laughs> what gun smoke? Watching some gun smoke. Y'all, he's hooked. He's hooked on gun smoke. And what are some of the other ones? What's well, cause it's smoking hot outside. <laughs> it's so hot you can't do anything. He cleaned the porch last week and the light to have died. Well, I wouldn't go that far. Well, you wouldn't go that far, but 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 it and was... he's waiting on to go walking. And what's what what did it read on the car when you were out there earlier? Uh, it was 96 or 97 oh, coming so lower, back from Jasper. Lower than we thought then. Yeah. But I'm going downstairs to teach. Bye, babe. Yeah, let me get this door closed behind me. I'm in the stairwell. There's good acoustics in here. Ha! Ah, listen to the acoustics in the stairwell. My hubby built these stairs. He worked so hard. And I have to take them one step at a time and be very careful. And some lights so on. <clears throat> I'm going down here to see what pretty staircase he did coming down there. He did that. Coming down here to teach a couple of lessons. Uh, let me turn you around. This is my little teaching spot right here. You can see my stool and everything on it. I left my pen. <laughs> yeah, I don't show all this stuff. Got to get some of the kids' stuff. I just show this stuff when I'm teaching. But um, 
I did my training, some training this morning for my paparazzi jewelry. This is this is some of the jewelry. This is, John said, those are the biggest earrings. And I said, I know. I love them. And um, let's see. This is, this is. The way the paparazzi works is um, you can go on the webpage and there's still stuff, but when they sell out, they sell out. And that just means they keep stuff moving all the time. So I'm really excited about it. Now I was gonna ask y'all this. Those of you that are home during the day, I'm gonna do some, I'm probably gonna do two lives a week. And what time during the day would you like to see a live during the day? Um, because I'm gonna do some, I like this little chain. It's just like wearing jewelry, but not wearing a lot. And it can, I can actually do it a little bit longer. I might do it a little longer. Um, so what time during the day would you like to come on to with a live with me and just look at some of my jewelry? There again, nobody's under any obligation to buy. I figure some of you'll just come hang out, just have fun <laughs> during the day, just for us to talk, it'll be fun like 12, like one, like two, because I'm not going to do it before 12, because I'm just not a morning person. And I don't really know my schedule yet, so just give me some ideas on it. So, But I'm fixing to teach. I love that there's so many. I have gotten some of the most humbling, beautiful comments on the last few lessons. <clears throat> Private messages. Um how this has happened so many people to understand Revelation. And of course, we're going to be getting into the really hard part. Um, but I'm fixing to teach on the last church. And then I'm fixing to do, right after that, I'm going to stop because we'll be going into the fourth chapter of Revelation where Jesus actually takes John up into heaven. Things start changing drastically. Um, but I'm going to teach a lesson on the rapture of the church and make sure everybody understands that before we move on. So if that's something you're interested in and you're not even watching Revelation, be watching for that. So, oh, and I also have gotten a schedule for my Bible lessons. They're going to be, on, they're, I'm going to um, upload them on Tuesdays and Fridays. And I've gotten down, and actually what I'm teaching right now is for next week. So I'm really excited that I'm that far ahead. And I just feel like when I'm going to have an afternoon, just throw on a little makeup, come on down, and record. Because I've already got the lessons ready. But now I'm to the point where I'm really delving back in and studying uh, a lot. I'll probably actually do some of that tonight, too. But Tuesdays and Fridays are going to be my um, upload days, and I usually do them after lunch. Upload days for Let Your Light Shine, Bible teaching, and we're in Revelation. So if you're seeing this and you've not even heard about that channel, it is linked below. It's always linked in this on this channel also, but it's called Let Your Light Shine. The whole book of John is already recorded on there. And then we are currently, I am currently teaching the book of Revelation, which if you know anything about prophecy, if you've lived for the Lord any length of time or know anything like, we got to get ready. We got to get ready. We got to be ready at all times. And um, yeah, we're going to be much more educated about Revelation. Revelation's always been scary to me, just the unknown and Ooh, what's going to happen and where am I going to be and all this. And I have so many more answers that I've ever had before. And so there's a whole playlist. You can start at the introduction or you can start at chapter one. And everybody needs to watch it. Everybody needs to be informed what's going to go on, what's going to happen in the days to come. The Word of God is our, it is absolutely our roadmap for life. And the, the, the scriptures have been breathed by God. They're not, nothing's coincidental, nothing's by accident. It's all ordained by God. And I'm so thankful that we have that in this big old world. I love my life. I love this world. But one of these days, this is temporary. 
and there's an eternity for us all, and it's left up to us where we're going to spend eternity. It is left up to us. So anyway, not going to preach on here. I got a channel for that. <laughs> but I'm already, I'm always ready to talk about the Lord, just always, because I'm excited about his promises. I'm excited about what he does for us. I'm excited. I'm just excited. So anyway, uh, let's get busy and let's teach some lessons. You want to? <laughs> uh, I just wanted to touch base with y'all today. So love you guys. Well, look who I got here with me today. <laughs> it's my Tishi. Hey. John's sister, y'all know who she is. And we've been doing a little shopping. We did a little damage, didn't we? A little bit. We're trying to find something really neat and unique to wear to Colorado for the wedding. And uh, we didn't buy anything for the wedding, but we bought some stuff. We did. But they're getting new fall stuff in next week, so we're going to go back. But I just got to tell you what she did. <laughs> she is so me. <laughs> she is so um, me. So we just ate it all in Garden. I'm still red. <laughs> we had, I had soup and salad. She had the meatballs. It was really good. Just had a nice, relaxing lunch. And uh, we're getting ready to leave. And we see some people at the table. And we stop and talk to them. Well, there's a door right there, right at the table. So she's just turned around and she's talking and she's got her hand on the door handle, just like you would do before you're going out until she pushed it and didn't realize it was the emergency. <laughs> so right now, all those people sitting in there are sitting like, <laughs> her face hurts so red. And she said, well, I knew it was a door, and the woman sitting there said, yeah, uh, that was Susie. She said, yeah, for emergencies. But I'm like her. I didn't see. the. It's a red bar that says emergency only. And if you're just standing there talking, you didn't. I didn't see it either. I didn't see it until you pushed. <laughs> and I mean, it was loud right there where our friends were sitting. So sorry, friends. <laughs> so everybody got dinner and and so we walked out, and the lady at the front said, "Somebody's trying to get out of here without paying." Well, she said it was me, <laughs> but she, we paid. We paid. <laughs> oh, it's such a uh, yeah. That is so my life. I, I'm really surprised I didn't do it. It was just you know when you get me and her all, you you put both of our brains together, and you got one good brain. Yeah. We, I don't know that we've got one good brain between us. <laughs> we, may <not. laughs> we may not. She said, am I scaring you driving? I was like, no, I'm just glad I'm not having to drive. She's brave. I'm a brave woman. So this is my sister. My sister. Y'all have talked about her before. Her can country hear. sister. My country sister. She's as country as John Lott is. So. But anyway, we had a good day, hadn't we? We've had a great day, so we're about we'll shop, and we're gonna do it again next week. Yeah, we're gonna do it again next week, and maybe find us something for the wedding. So, but I did get me a drop dead, gorgeous pair of black pants that ruffle at the bottom. They are so cute, aren't they? Real trendy. She looks so fat. <laughs> she keeps saying you're skinny. I'm like, no, no, not skinny. She is skinny. A little <laughs> bottom heavy. A little bottom heavy. <laughs> yeah, I got still got junk in the trunk. <laughs> I still got junk in the trunk, so. But anyway, I had to fill y'all in. I knew, put, uh, I, I should have vlogged a little bit before, but I didn't think about it. We've been too busy solving the world's problems. And talking about the Lord a lot, haven't we been? We have. We've been talking about the Lord a lot, so. Shame everybody in the stores we are. Uh, well, yeah, and if, if everybody was here with us, we could have church. Exactly. And I could take up an offer to pay for those pants. <laughs> we'll talk to y'all later. Bye.